Our next guest is also a former Freebird Falcon who was in my fifth grade class in 2013-2014. He will be graduating in the 2021 class from North Davidson High School. Josh has a great passion for music and has been in the chorus for the last four years. He has served as vice president and president of the North Davidson High School Talk Choir. During his junior year, he was selected out of 1,200 students to be in the NC Honors Chorus. In the fall, John Josh sorry, plans on attending Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. He will be majoring in commercial music performance. It's my pleasure to introduce Josh Cook. Thank you, Ms. Snyder. Um, as you said, my name is Josh Cook. I have a passion for music, but uh, <clears throat> what I'd like to say to the class of 2028, I haven't seen the <laughs> uh, Seven years ago, I was in the same position as you, sitting beside my best friends in fifth grade. And uh, as a young boy, I, I wanted to grow up as fast as possible, but now you don't want to hear it, but uh, you're going to miss this. Your parents are right. You're going to miss this because I miss it just as much as my parents told me I would. Uh, when I was in the fifth grade, I was playing baseball. And uh, I remember telling my sister, my best friend, in the car one time, I want to be the greatest baseball player to ever live. Well, uh, that didn't come true because I don't play baseball in high school, never did. Got cut from the middle school team. But you know, uh, eighth grade, I was, you know, I did band in sixth, seventh grade year. Eighth grade, I go, I want to try something new, but I don't want to take it into your test. So I go, well, let's go try a course. And uh, sang a happy birthday song. Of course, teacher was like, man, I mean, you can match tune. So, uh, so uh, I went, uh, I was in chorus class, and I remember one time I was sick, real sick, and uh, came back to school and her voice was real low. She was like, Josh, sing through that again one more time. You know, for some reason my voice was lower than it used to be, I guess, changing hormones or whatever it is. But, uh, <clears throat> Fell in love with music from then. It was, from there, it was a turning point in my life, and uh, and so uh, since then, I've been a leader in my course class, been vice president and president, and uh, in course class, I've learned that I've learned so many life lessons, and I've taken in so many, I've been recognized for so many awards for my hard work and dedication. I feel proud of it, but I can't remember where I came from. I came from Freebird. And so, and also as well as those great awards, you know, I was given the opportunity to go to New York City with my choir, but you know, I didn't. But I was sitting in biology class, and I was like, what am I doing in biology class? I could have been in New York City. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was sad that I missed out on it, but could you imagine being in chorus class and Going to New York City with all your best friends, and I'm gonna be in the South Bay, but uh, I wouldn't know because I didn't go, and it's one of my biggest regrets. But uh, <clears throat> I would definitely recommend, as you go into middle school, that uh, you would try out for chorus. And if it's something you don't like, you still got two more years. But uh, on top of that, I would want you to take away from this speech. I'd, I would hope that you would make a habit out of being kind to your classmates. Because, uh, you know, being mean ain't cool or it ain't funny. Every once in a while you may pick your friends, it's a little different than being straight up mean. But uh, I hope that uh, you will know that people may forget everything about you, but they won't forget how you made them feel. And uh, I just hope that you will remember that. So thank you. And uh, congratulations on making it to the next stage of your education. I didn't think I'm tearing up, but I did. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so 